I would like to visit with you today to discuss the Oxlife Liberty Portable Oxygen Concentrator. So here in front of me I have the device itself and the accessories that go along with the unit. So we have our carrying case with the shoulder strap. We have the accessories bag. I have my DC charger. This plugs into the DC outlet in your vehicle. And then we have our AC charger, which is, is this is the AC converter box. And then you have your cord, which goes to a two prong outlet. That cord plugs into the converter box. And both the AC charger and the DC charger plug into the same charging port on the device here at the top of the unit. Just plug straight in, both AC charger and DC charger. On the opposite side from your charging port is where you connect your nasal cannula. So you have your metal port right here which your nasal cannula tubing just slides right over top. On the sides of the device we have our filters, one on each side. These covers come off, these filters. They should be cleaned at least once a week. You can use regular water, you can use some soap, uh, rinse them off, pat them dry, and then connect them back to the device. Down near the bottom of the device we have our battery. There's a little lever you push down, the battery slides out. There is an indicator on the battery. Just push the button, battery lights up, shows you how much life is left. This slides right back into the unit and clicks into place. To operate the device, you simply hold the power button in. This device can do both pulse dose and continuous flow. Uh, continuous flow, it goes anywhere from a half a liter up to one and a half liters. On pulse dose, it can go from a liter up to nine liters per minute. We can switch between the modes. There is a button with the letter M on it for the mode. If I push it and you see a series of dots, that is pulse dose. And if you see an arrow, that is continuous flow. The continuous flow goes from settings 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Every time you go up on a setting, you increase the liter flow. And on 1, we are on a half a liter continuous. There is a plus and a minus option here that you can increase or decrease the flow. So if I plus, I go up to 2, a setting of 2, that is 0.75 liters per minute continuous flow. Go to 3, it is 1 liter. 4 is 1.25 liters, and then 5, your max setting, which is the 1.5 liters continuous. Go to pulse, hit the mode, go to the pulse option, and you have 1, hit the plus or minus again to go up or down. 1 through 9 liters per minute, pulse dose. Also on your screen, you have an indicator for your battery. If we plug the device in, You'll see a picture of a plug at the top, a symbol of a plug, and then you'll also see a lightning bolt on the battery that is actively charging. A patient can use this device and charge it at the same time on all settings through AC or DC power. So again, while in use, the device can charge on all settings through either AC power or DC power. To turn a unit off, just hold the power button back in until the device shuts down. Just a little information on the battery, on pulse dose, on two, average operating time for the battery is four hours. On a setting of five continuous flow, which is the max setting of one and a half liters continuous, 
the battery will operate around one and a half hours.